It is so small, you extend, the equations go back. The universe is the size of an atom. Does quantum physics apply to the entire universe or only to atoms? What, where, where does that, where, where are you on that, both of you? Well, at this point, we feel we have to invoke quantum mechanics to understand what was happening in the Big Bang. The energy scales are so dramatic and um, that we're really probing quantum physics. High energies, you're really looking somewhat surprisingly at small scales. Um, so we, we are still trying to grapple with what the Big Bang is telling us about uh, the potential to understand not just general relativity, but a kind of quantum variant of that, if there is such a thing. Yeah, so I got general relativity and I got quantum physics. Do they make nice in the sandbox? <laughs> That's a it's a deep and difficult question, and one that I and many others have spent their lives trying to answer, and we do not fully let, have the answer yet. Let me restate that. Yeah. That you and others have spent your lives failing to answer. Yes. Okay. I agree. That's okay. But I think but, we established to this that's guy. okay. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Ah, oh, take that. Man. Okay, you got uh, a fan over here. All right, yeah. go. No, it's exactly the case. So when you take Einstein's equations of the general theory of relativity and you try to invoke quantum mechanics within the same calculations, which as you eloquently noted, you'd have to do. If you're talking about the whole universe when it's incredibly small, you need Einstein's general theory of relativity. It's the whole universe after all, but you also need quantum physics because it is so small. And that's the theory that describes the small things. And when you try to simply put the equations together, you get one answer out from almost any calculation, which is infinity. And that might sound, oh, that's interesting, a big, deep, mystical number. No, it's nonsense. Infinity is nature's way of grabbing us by the lapel and slapping us around and saying, you're doing something wrong. You've got to figure this out. So I've heard another one, that's where do. infinity is where God divides by zero. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Hawking, yes. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Hawking said that. Well, at least that's what he's attributed to. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but they, you're saying they don't make nice in the sandbox. 